Are you ready for an open, honest review of John Smith's Extra Smooth and Original? Here we go! Right, first of all, let's get the original out and you'll see a stark difference in the openings. This one, they're both 440 cans, 440 milliliter, but you'll see the Extra Smooth is larger, but it has a widget system. First of all, the non-widget system, look at this. So in the 1990s, the beer went from 3.8% ABV all the way down to 3.6% ABV. Some of you might not know, but it was actually Samuel Smith's brother, was John Smith's. Uh, they both had breweries in Tadcaster. Samuel Smith's is still an independent brewer. This can's a little dented. But here we go, have a listen to this. Oh, blimey! Can you hear that? All the smoke, all the craziness going on. It's, it's, it's nitrogen. And look at the stark difference on the pour of this beer. Now, if I can grab that quickly, look at this. Look at the difference. Exactly the same beer, this one has nitrogen poured or, or added to it. Infused to it. Pumped through it. The head is massively different. Look at this, look at the two heads guys. That one there. Normal pub bitter head. That one there, look at that, it just looks, I don't know. It looks like a craft beer, but don't be fooled, it's just nitrogen. I, I, I'm going to be perfectly honest with you, never did I ever think on the channel that I would review John Smith's, but I've seen the two cans together. It's very rare in South Wales we can get original, and I thought, yeah, let's, let's, let's get the two cans and do a side-by-side -side look. Yeah, I mean, talk about drinking with your eyes. Look at that, I mean, let's rock the two beers back and forth. Which one do you think that is the better looking beer in my eyes? The one that I would choose? Most definitely this one. Let's start off then with the, the original bitter, 3.6%. Uh, one finger white head, chestnut colour, clear, nice levels of carbonation, aroma. Already going in. Um, I suppose it's slightly hoppy, slightly some malt aromas coming, a little bit of sweetness maybe. Let's dive in, cheers. That is absolutely, absolutely atrocious. Absolutely, massively, massively atrocious. Um, Heineken should be absolutely ashamed of, of themselves for um, producing such a terrible, terrible beer. Um, I think I'd rather have a glass of water. Uh, there's literally no tastes to this whatsoever. Um, there's a chemical taste. There's a hop oil, what do they call it, hop extract they've called it, and they've actually, they put glucose syrup in the beer, I mean come on guys, come on Heineken, if you can't produce a beer with malted barley at 3.6% ABV, it's the simplest beer you can produce in brewing, if you can't do that and you have to, have to add some glucose syrup to the beer, it, you, your, your brewing knowledge must be shocking, absolutely shocking. Over to the smooth. It's just going to be the same beer with nitrogen blown through it. I fear for my health.
Uh, it's just it's just made it slightly creamier. Um, there's more of a very fine carbonation in the beer. Um, it's the reason why they call it smooth. Um, I'm really glad the 1990s are gone. Although I'm older, um, the 1990s were full of, of, of it was the smooth craze. Um, all of the regional brewers were producing smooth beers with nitrogen blown through their beers. and It's shocking, absolutely shocking that, that brewing went to the depths that they did. And I'm so glad for the craft beer running, so I'm so glad that I don't have to drink beers like this and I can drink proper craft beer from independent brewers that are not Heineken. Beaver Town, in the long term, this is your future. Or is that Carlsberg? I don't know, they're a green company. <laughs> they're both green companies. I can never tell which one is which. I don't really care. Uh, that is shocking. Absolutely shocking, shocking, shocking beer. Um, to be honest with you, I reckon if John Smith, I reckon if, if, if we could miraculously dig the man up and put some flesh on him and give him, give him his taste buds for 10 minutes and, and show him the beer that he once produced, he would probably turn in his grave. He would probably want to go back to his grave and he would think that he was in hell. Um, amazing though that the two breweries uh, or the two brothers uh, produce starkly now different beers. It shows you what independence does for a brewery um, and it shows you what a big conglomerate brewery does for a brewery. Let me explain. Sam Smith's oatmeal stouts, porters, imperial stouts, nut brown ales, traditional if you like traditional beer, it's tremendous. It's a fantastic example of British cask beer. Tr really, really good quality stuff. And you think this is his brother. John Smith is his, 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 his brother. And you can only think back to the time when they were both alive and they were competing against one another. One brewery in one side of t Tadcaster the other in the other side of Tadcaster and they must have had wonderful battles as who uh, of which brother can produce the best nut brown ale or, or which brother can produce the best stout or best bitter or, or or the beer that was popular at the time and it's amazing to, to see the difference now in, in quality between the two brewers. This is by far the lowest of the low. Um, you cannot get any lower in quality than John Smith's. I never ever thought in my lifetime I would be reviewing it. Um, it's, a, it's an awful, awful example of, of a bitter. Uh, it's, an, it's an awful example of of beer and it's probably one of the reasons why in the 1990s and the early 2000s beer was in such a massive decline because of terrible terrible beers like this uh, so the, the history a little bit of history as to how it fell into Heineken's hands um, I've just been on Wikipedia and it, and it looks like in 1970 Courage bought the John Smith's brewery uh, and then it went to Scottish and Newcastle and then, and then it went over to Heineken and they brought the beer down from 3.8 to 3.6% ABV and, and it's just, it's been a decline of the brewery and to be honest with you, can I see the brewery, it's 2019, now I'm doing this review, could I see John Smith's and John Smith's Original or John Smith's Extra Smooth, could I see this beer being around in 10 years time? 2029 I don't think so I don't think so I don't think there's a place in beer for for these beers in their current form uh, on Wikipedia I hear that this in the north of England they produce a John Smith's magnet uh, which is a stronger ale and it kind of hacks back to its original might have some quality to it. I live in South Wales. I don't get a chance to try that But it's only in keg. So again, it doesn't sound great, does it? 
Uh, rating for John Smith's original. Uh, a one. I'm going to give that a one out of ten. And John Smith's extra smooth. Half a finger. It's not even a one. It's a half out of ten. It's dreadful. The worst, worst beers money can buy. Look at the difference. There's the original. And there's the, the crazy nitrogen infused. Extra smooth. Thanks for watching. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers.